Do you ever get an idea in your head that you just can't seem to transform into reality? Sometimes I find making a mood board helps me break through those creative blocks. In this video, I'm going to show you the steps I go through to create a mood board like this. Mood boards are a great way to design your space. It's the perfect testing ground to combine images with color, texture, and pattern to define your personal aesthetic. You could create a virtual mood board with Pinterest since there's no limit to the amount of inspiration you can find, but there's something about the tactile quality of cutting and pasting pictures out of magazines that somehow takes me back to first grade. And I love the fact that you can add actual pieces of fabric to your mood board. This example is framed and hung up in my workspace where I can add to it whenever the inspiration hits me. I like to begin by using a color wheel to choose two to three key colors to look for as I go through my magazines. For this board, I've chosen blue-green and red-orange. As you look through your magazines, very often you'll discover other colors that go with those key colors you've chosen that may lead you in a totally different direction. For me, those discoveries are the best part of the process. Start by gathering a wide variety of catalogs and magazines that inspire you. The next step is to start clipping away. For this board, I chose pink and blue-green as my key colors. Sometimes I'll just tear a whole page out if there are several images on it that I think I might like to use. And try not to judge yourself here. Just cut out whatever inspires you and you can decide whether you want to keep it or not later. Next, find a piece of cardboard or poster board to glue your images onto. And finally, here comes the fun part. Arrange the images on your board, cutting them as you go to make them fit the way you like. Mm -hmm. 